This week's episode of The Grid is sponsored by Impix. Shoot today, upload tonight, we ship tomorrow. Manfrotto, imagine more. On One Software, software that gets you back to shooting. Adorama, more than a camera store. Tiffin, helping create the world's greatest images. Peach Pit Press, publishers of technology books, ebooks, and videos for creative people. Epson, exceed your vision. Expo Imaging, rogue flashbenders for speedlight enthusiasts. Nick Software, photography first. And B&H Photo, the professional source. Well, hi everybody and welcome to our special holiday gift guide episode of The Grid. My name is Scott Kelly and I'm joined by a very famous man, a lifestyle photographer, a lover, a friend, a friend. He's kind to children and small animals. Eric Fallon. How you doing, buddy? Hey, good. Thank you very much for having me on. Thank you for coming. So Eric was here doing some cool stuff with us, um, doing uh, some stuff for Kelby training. Yeah, I got a new class coming out. He's got a new class coming out, so we, we, we made him stay for the grid. <laughs> so uh, where is Matt Kleskowski? Matt is in, well, technically he's in San Francisco, but he just did a seminar out there this week in Sacramento, and uh, he's coming back and then going to San Diego next week. Wow. So he's on the road. RC is in Seattle. And uh, so it's just me and Eric. It's our show. I'm the stand-in. You're going to have to deal you with are? me. No, we're, we're very happy to have <laughs> you, though. We've got lots of goodies. Now, two things real quick. Uh, I did a holiday gear guide in Photoshop User Magazine. It's my seventh annual one. And on my blog at scottkelby.com. This is not that stuff. Okay. So this is other stuff. Because I figured I already, I've already done that. There's no sense in, in showing that. Hey, do you have your Lightroom 2 shirt? You, are you... I, yeah, just, oh, just dude, fur patch. Lightroom That's 2, it. it's coming back. It's coming back big. Uh, <laughs> That's like bell bottoms, right? In bell right? bottoms. Okay. Hey, I just have one thing to, to mention, and we're going to go right to a break and, and get on with this. Um, so we didn't officially announce it, but I guess I'm kind of officially announce it now. So uh, at KelbyTraining.com, I just released a class. It's called Light It, Shoot It, Retouch It for Hot Shoe Flash on a Budget. Okay, so I launched the class. It's been getting just rave reviews because, not because I did such a great job, it was because I did the whole class with $320 worth of gear, oh, wow. including the flash itself and the triggers and the softbox and the stand and the carrying case and the tilt bracket, the whole nine yards, $320, everything, flash, triggers, the whole nine yards. And it's, it's, it's been getting incredible reviews. That's not the news. The, there it is. The news is that um, we're renting the class. You can actually rent the class. So we have a, uh, it's gonna be 10 bucks to rent the class for three days, but right now it's $6.99. Wow. So if you haven't signed up for like a Kelby training subscription, go do it. Oh, look, there it is right there, rent the course. So uh, it's, uh, you said it says now only $6.99 for a limited time, and it is limited. I think it's till the end of the year. But so we have about 12 classes right now that are rentals, but we're going to have more. But we just kind of started, we're trying it out, and so far it's gone amazingly well. So go check it out. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we've got so much cool holiday gear for the photographer on your list. Do you have photographers on your list? A couple of them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to spend more than five bucks on Brad. So it's going to be very, you know, <laughs> Brad just gave me some. Hey, you know what, though? Before we take a break, uh, Nancy Massey is not here today. So Nancy, Aww, um, she, uh, well, she's here, but she's not going to go on the air. She's got that cold that has been ripping through here. So she's not feeling well, and she was sniffling and sneezing, hacking and wheezing. So um, pretty. we gave her some Vicks NyQuil. But you know what? Doggone it, we've got the next best thing. Because when you can't have Nancy Massey, you need someone just as beautiful, just as French, just, just as, as feminine. Just as feminine. <laughs> it's Pete Collins. Yes, it's Woo! me. Pistol I am. Pack and pee. How's it going, guys? Good to be here. Yeah, I just came sliding right in to help out and fix things up for Nancy. She's 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 under the weather. Okay, so. you know, you did not have to dress up for the show and all. You can come casual. It's okay. Well, hey, I'm just happy to have a shirt and pants on. That's, I know it's that's unusual good for me. you. Because it's By the usually way, one or the other. <laughs> five bucks are bad. You're really doubling what you gave him last year, aren't you? I know, but he's had a really good year. He's, yeah. he's, he's put his nose to the, to the something. plastic or something. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to kick right into our holiday gear guide. Don't go away. You're live right here on The Grid. I'm Eric Valland, a lifestyle portrait photographer. 
Photography, for me, I'm a people photographer, so I love working with the people and working in beautiful locations together. If you're shooting lifestyle photography and you're looking through your camera lens and you're getting those frames and all of a sudden the moment happens, I mean, you know it instantly. The great thing about lifestyle photography is I try to capture real moments with it, so I set the stage to let those moments happen and as they unfold, I'm just there lucky enough to be the one pulling the trigger and getting it on film. For my upcoming class, Outdoor Lifestyle Photography, the key to capturing that moment in that location is finding what's unique about that location, what really stands out to you right away, and then compressing it. In this class, I'm gonna teach you how to select those locations, how to light them for control and contrast. Everybody loves the lighting techniques, but in the end, it's all just to set the stage so that moment can happen, and we walk away with an image that goes ahead and showcases the beautiful spot we were at and captures the moment as it happened in it. Please join us for the rest of the class. You're really gonna love some of the techniques I've gotta share. Bad weather strikes and threatens your next outdoor shoot, you need the experience. The experience of a photographer that can handle any situation. Get your hair out of your eyes! Come on! The experience of Joe McNally. Bad weather doesn't mean you can turn in a bad shoot. It's really bad weather out here, Harry! I'm not gonna leave this dock without a picture. Trust Joe to teach you the tips you'll need to capture stunning photos even when the weather turns ugly. Anybody there see the sun? I don't. Don't let bad weather ruin your next I'm happy again. <laughs> what am I supposed to out here? Sing a chorus of I feel pretty? Don't let bad weather ruin your next photo shoot. Telling people what is perfectly obvious, that the weather sucks! Rely on Joe McNally to help you weather the storm. <laughs> the miracle of photography visits us again. We are... Learn how to take great photos in bad weather. Watch Joe McNally. <laughs> well, was, it, was that the same cow? Hey, we are back. Scott Kelby here with Eric Fallon. Hey, that was that was Eric's promo that uh, for your lifestyle photography did you class. Guys, did you guys plan that? No, it was completely <laughs> random. Yeah, it was. Uh, no, we knew you'd be here. We wanted to go check out his classes. His classes cool. are great. They're really fantastic. So um, let's get started. So my first one is just came out. This just came out here, and this is is not maybe for your serious photographer, but it's for your serious iPhoneographer. I'm not sure which camera to look at. Someone point to the camera. There we go, thank you. Oh, is the red light? I didn't, I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, I, I was wondering what that thing I was, it was for. I like the follow the bouncy ball kind of thing. I was like, I wonder what that was for. Now it's over there. Anyway, this is the Olio Clip or Olio Clip. It's called the Olio Clip for iPhone. So I had the one for the iPhone 4 and the 4S. What it does, it literally just slips right over your camera on your iPhone, and it's got three different. It has a fish eye. It's got a wide angle and a uh, macro lens. It's amazingly good. Number one, the optics, that's what's surprising. The optics in it are really, really, Eric was asking me about this before we went on the air, but the optics are really good. So basically it's three lenses in one, depending on which little thing that you put on there. It just slips right on your phone and it works really, really great. People love these. So if you have someone that's serious about iPhoneography. Or Instagram. Or there Instagram. All kinds of Instagram addicts out there. That yep. would be, that's me. That that's would... you? Okay, then I'll look. You gotta check it out. It's actually very cool. And I'd like to give this to you for free, but I'm just not going to, because that's my own personal one. So, um, hey, we do have giveaways today, though. We are giving away stuff. We're giving away your book. We have your brand new book. Yeah, it's um, shooting in bleep lighting. I, I, I censored it. We're family friendly yeah, today, right? It's S H. Star. Put in your own words, T T Y. <laughs> yeah, get a good close up of it there. Can we just hold it? There you go. So that's it. And uh, you co authored that with Lindsay Adler, which yes. she's terrific. Uh -huh. And so this is a brand new book. We're going to be giving one of these to Will you sign it for the person? Absolutely. I'll write something bad in there too. So, so sign there. copy, and we're going to give away something else I'll talk about when we get to it because it's some of the stuff we're here we're giving away. And no, it's nothing that's good up here. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So that starts us off. The Allo Clip for iPhone, it is $70. And if you got someone serious about iPhoneography, it's it's really actually very very good. Hey cool. Scott, the, oh, yeah, the thing is, you know how good one of those products is when we're stealing it from each other here around the office. It's oh, that's like, right. Yeah, we've got one, and everybody wants it's it. It's like who's got the Allo Clip now? Because everybody's wanting to use it for something. I had somebody coming in my office just today asking for it, and I was trying to steal one from RC's office yesterday. So we love the Allo Clip. Yeah, you know what's nice too? They come in that little little felt bag. It comes in a little felt bag, and it's kind of you know it's easy to keep keep track of. Okay. What have Next you got? One? Uh, I got something fun. So it, it's right here. They're gonna 
show an image up on the screen, but it's the Atomos or Atomos Ninja 2. It's a video recorder. So we're, you're a Nikon shooter. Right. Yeah. We finally got good video in our yeah, Nikon bodies. we do. Finally. All this time I was running Canons. Now I have a Nikon D800. It's got killer video. Uh, what the Ninja does is basically plugs into your HDMI feed and it pulls it out totally uncompressed. So you know how it takes the video and normally shrinks it to fit it on your memory card? It's degrading the quality. By using this, you record out to a separate device. You get high quality, better than what you would normally get with the when camera When you say alone. separate device, like a, a hard drive or something? Yeah, what's, it's actually a hard drive and a monitor all in one. So what you do is you take the laptop hard drives you've got laying around the house, yeah. put them in there, so you've got hundreds of gigabytes that you can film to. There's no caps, you can let it run as long as you want. Yeah. Uh, and then at the same time, it works as a monitor. So it has the focus assist on it. It's got the zebra, it's got the, the false color so you oh, know yeah? when you under and overexpose. So it's like buying an expensive monitor for your DSLR and a separate hard drive and a better than camera quality uh, video recorder, all in one. Wow. It's $1,000. It's $1,000? Yeah. So, so this is, if you really like that Yeah, this is for like. somebody that you really, really want to impress. Brad, do not be looking for one of those for Christmas. No. So, all right. So, thousand bucks though. Yeah, totally worth it. But it's hardly where you got one. It's totally Absolutely, worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I am in okay. love with it. I was He's hesitant to pull the trigger, and the video quality coming out of it is wonderful. Wow. So, I hope our video guys don't want one. They're all listening in. All right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> all right. What have I got next? Okay. Oh, I, I just got this the other day. This is. I haven't had a chance to use it. I'll be using it at this. Uh, I'm shooting an NFL game again this weekend. I'm shooting the. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles game, so the Bucks are playing them. It's an easy win. Oh, sorry, Philly fans. But you know, you know how bad your team is this year. What happened to the Eagles? It's insane. It's crazy, right? What about Andy Reid? You're going to let him go, right? Well, he, anyway, I'll get to see Andy on the sidelines. I'll walk over and go, dude. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're, you don't live in Philly. No, no, okay, I'm fine. Good. All right, cool. this looks gonna get bad. So I, I always, always have a hoodman loop on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. So here's what it's for. You wear it around your neck, and I'll just, just demonstrate this real quick. You wear it around your neck. All right, and in bright daylight, you're out there shooting, and you see all these photographers. They're squinting. They're trying to cover their screen and all. And all. Thank you. You're welcome. You should be on the show more often. <laughs> and you take this, and it, it it doesn't magnify it, but it covers the screen completely. Mm -hmm. And you look, and it is like looking at your your thing at night. I mean, you can see crystal clear. And so when you're trying to like tag images when you're on the field to make sure that they're you know ready to upload to I, I shoot for a wire service. This is, is brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. What they did was, they did one little thing. It's a little bit larger, which is nice, but it actually is collapsible. Yes. So it just fits in your thing a little better because you're always looking for a spot, because it's, you know, it's fairly big, but it's completely collapsible now. And they put a thread mount for, if you need to like use it for video and put it on a, a tripod or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's got a little thread mount on the bottom. So a couple of new features to already a product that couldn't live without. And uh, let's see, the price is, uh, it's 100 Bucks. It's 100 bucks. Totally worth it. You will fall in love. There's, oh, it was on screen there for a second. Whoa. Uh, but totally worth it. Really, really great. And people, I know a lot of people use these to shoot video. They take rubber bands and they just put a rubber band this side, this side, and then they, they'll shoot through this for their video. But anyway, brand new from a hood man. Hadn't had a chance to use it. I'll be using it at this Sunday's game. Cool. Let me just remind Brad because Brad does my loadout. Brad, throw this in the bag. All right. I knew it. All right, somehow I got stuck with the expensive stuff. So if you're looking for cheap <laughs> gifts, befriend Scott. If you want some really nice toys to play with, um, I'm the guy to talk to. So next up is an 85 millimeter 1.4 lens. Uh, this is the Nikon, the Nikon, I'm sorry, this is not the Nikon version. I had rented the Nikon one for about a year. I mean, I had just gone to every rental house and just had it lined up. I returned one, get another, but never pulled the trigger because they are expensive. Yeah, how much is the 85? It was like $1,800. It's almost two grand, yeah. It's almost two grand for the, yeah, two grand for the 80, the Nikon brand 85 one The Canon's even more, so, isn't it? 1.2? So your, but this is, even though it's expensive, this is a, a half budget. Price. Half price. Oh yeah, so this is the Sigma version, the 85 millimeter 1.4. Uh, I was teaching a workshop, I think, in, in St. Louis, and they had a bunch of these out. The rep was there like playing with them. I borrowed one. That was a mistake because as soon as I was done teaching the workshop and shooting with it, I just ordered one and had them ship it over to me right away. Um, it's wonderful. I mean, the quality is everything that I saw in the Nikon ones, and when he told me what the price was, I pulled the trigger. <laughs> so you feel quality-wise as good as the Nikon, very Absolutely. comparable to the Nikon at least? Yep. 
fa fast focusing, which was surprising. Um, yeah. yeah, extremely, sh embarrassingly sharp. Like if you're not careful with your focus, you'll miss it. Yeah. It's that sharp. Um, so this is great, and especially with the D800. I mean, I look at my files and you can see like baby hairs on eyelashes. You know who had a great tip for using these? So Cliff Montner, mm -hmm. uh, the famous wedding photographer, was was on our show, what's now called Photography TNT, okay. but it was D-Town TV. And he had a great tip for shooting with the 8514 because he uses it quite a bit. I want to hear it. And his tip was, be, and it's a focus tip. Uh -huh. And what his thing was is when you're shooting with this thing, you need to, to well, now a lot of times, like let's say as I was shooting you, yep. okay. I would you know, look through the camera and I would put the focus point on you and then I would recompose. Mm -hmm. He says, don't do it with an 8514 if you're shooting at 1.4. And he said, by the way, he says, if you buy an 8514 and you're not shooting at 1.4 the whole time, you're an idiot. Wasting your money. You're yeah. wasting your money. He said, you can, if you're going to shoot at F8 with this lens, you, you bought the wrong lens. He said, you shoot at 1.4. But he said, you have to use the center point and you have to compose it correctly in camera. Don't move it. Uh, because when you move it, it'll changes the focal plane a little bit. And he enough. goes, and he goes, and it, you'll have a harder time getting focus. But instead, if you move the, the arrow over to you, mm -hmm. in other words, instead of like on you and recompose, move, move, your focus move the points. focus point onto okay. your eye. You'll nail it. Cool. And he said it makes a big, big difference as far as, you know, when he said when I hear people saying, I have an 8514 and I'm having trouble getting focused, that's why. All right, cool. Well, I guess they just put on the board, it's 894 at B&H. So Ooh, it is that's like, good, 894. It's a bargain. That so. is a bargain. Okay, great. All right, very good. See, even though it was it was a more expensive gift, it was a great value. That's important. Cool. All right. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm going to kill you with value. Oh god. So check this out. I know. I'm sorry. I'm going <laughs> to the other. This is great. So this is a monopod made by Obin. Okay. So if you shoot sports or any or, or wildlife or anything where you think you might need a. a a monopod. This is a really nice. Feel how light it is, right? But it's it's surprisingly sturdy. It's yeah, right? it's not even there. It's it's very very well made and surprisingly well made. It's it goes you know very high, forty bucks. Seriously, forty bucks. Now you know what's nice if you're like a football photographer, mm -hmm. you can mount your camera. Can I see the the body over yep. here? Mount your camera on here. All right, let me just screw it in there. And then I actually use, will it fit? Oh, I'm screwing in the wrong place. It won't fit if you screw in the wrong place. So I actually use a Sigma 15 millimeter fish eye okay. because it was half the price. They're coming out of the nowhere others. with this stuff. And then right. what you do, oh, Juan's gonna go to the jib. Then what you do is you put a fish eye on this and as the players are coming out and stuff, you can hold this over their heads. You can get some really, really cool shots. Yeah. So even if you're not gonna use it to suspend your lens, you know, uh, I use this for all kinds of just you, you, and you can also do this at weddings for reception shots when they're out there dancing. Mm -hmm. You can hold it out like this. There's a lot of cool things you can do. It's 40 bucks from Open. So B&H carries them. B&H has them in stock. So go to B&H photo and check them out. Because you know what it is? If you buy somebody this, they're going to think you spent a lot more. <laughs> Right? They're going to go, wow, a monopod, dude. Because yeah, I kid you not, you can buy monopods for 400 bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and, and you're like, I'm only getting one leg. What, what's the deal here? Yeah, it's one leg. It's, just, it's the third of a tripod. 40 bucks. Really good deal, I think. You know, like really good deal, Eric. Dude, like, I got you beat. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let me I, see. I, I finally have a, you got to have a stocking stuffer. If you're going to have like that, that hero package underneath the Christmas tree, here's my stocking stuffer. It's by uh, Tether Tools. I got, have this. I have this. You have this? It's yeah. Awesome. Okay, good. So you trip on your cable a lot too then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're used to how you tether. You have a USB two or three. You plug it into the side of your camera. Uh, but the problem is if you trip on it, like Scott does, maybe. I do all the time. That's why I have a neon orange cable from Tether Tools as well. Um, you run the risk of snapping off your USB thing in there. It's a $50 cable, but it's a much more expensive fix on the camera here. Uh, so what this jerk stopper does is it, it basically just stops this from jerking out. Um, you attach it to the D-ring right here where you would normally put your camera strap. And then all the weight and tension of the, the trip is actually put right there so you can have your USB hanging loose and safe. So if you're tripping on it or people on your set are tripping on it, you're not worried about breaking off your USB cable in your camera. Cool thing is they also have a kit um, where you can attach it to different things like the Ethernet port on your computer or this will attach it to the table. That way if it gets tripped on, it's not ripping out the USB from your laptop either. Um, oh, and the best part, $17. $17. 17. That's, so, now, I versus have, a hundred dollar repair. So that one also, the orange is the big thing. Yeah. You don't trip over it. If you use black, 
you lose track of it. You don't, when you're on the ground, you'll miss it. But if it's orange, you will not miss it on the floor. <laughs> okay, well you totally burn me because my next thing is, 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 is fairly expensive. It's the Nikon 24 to 70. Now, here's the thing, here, catch. <laughs> It's actually a coffee mug. So I guess I'm loose in there. So <laughs> the th great thing about it, it's actually a coffee mug, all right? And photojojo.com sells these. They make them for Canon. They make, and it looks exactly, I mean, you, you look at it, it looks dead on. Well, let me get a, can you guys get a close up? I mean, you would swear it's a real Nikon 24 to 70. Now, oh, you want to point me over there. Oh, should I go to the one with the red light? This is so crazy. All right, so it looks like the real deal, right? But what's great about it was it weighs nothing, and so I don't ever put coffee on it. All I do is it sits there on my desk, and whoever comes to visit me, I always go, I'll go, hey, um, I gotta get this over to Brad. Will you, will you hand this over to Brad? And I just literally throw it right at him, and they completely freak <laughs> out, because this is like a would be a $2,000 lens, and you, yeah. just, you throw it at them, and they're like, ah, and if it falls, they freak out, and you just laugh. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, they're crying. And oh, dude, they're, <laughs> they are they are freaked out. Now, can I tell you a true story? True story. I'm in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Do you know Jeff Ravel? Yeah. Okay, so you know Jeff. Oh, so I'm, Call I'm, of Duty. I'm there with Jeff. Sure, yeah, that's where we play Call of Duty. So we do play Call of Duty at night, and you're yes. actually very good. Grown men. She is grown men. We play Call of Duty with <laughs> Jeff Ravel and all. So I'm, I'm in Dubai. I just bought a 24 to 70 uh -huh. Nikon lens, and I'd hurt my leg. I forgot how I twisted my leg or something. And so I'm getting out of a cab at our hotel, and I said, Jeff, can you hold my 24 to 70? I hand it to him, and he drops it straight on the concrete. I've had it for two days. I just got to Dubai. Bang! And so it, it would still work, but if you if you turn the lens, it had to go back to Nikon and all this kind of stuff. And I love to tell that story. And Jeff's so excited every time you tell that story. <laughs> he does. He loves when I tell that story. Jeff, Jeff, the guy that ruined my 20s. It's amazing we're still such close friends, but um, he dropped it. Okay. Did I give you the price of what I was just showing? Um, no. How much is it? I think it's $38 because you just pointed to it on a piece of paper. <laughs> it's $38. Go to fo Hey, can I tell you about Photo Jojo though? They've got an, an excellent website. They've got every cool little gadget, every cool little frame. I mean, if you had to go to one site, oh, it's, I think Brad says it's 30 bucks? 30 bucks. Oh. 30 bucks. Oh, sorry. 30 bucks. They've got um, the coolest website just in general. They've got probably 50 or 60 stocking stuffers, and they even have something a little more expensive. But if you're just stuck, just go there. They, they really, they've, they've done a great job of curating cool gifts. Oh yeah. That are, it's, I, I really like their stuff. It's you collect all kinds of knickknacks. It's dangerous to go to that website. It is, yeah. Go with a, you will, a goal in mind. Don't just browse. <laughs> and we have little stuff around the office here, some some cool little things. We Outside of Brad's office, we have this little, it's, it's a piece of wire that hangs, and then it, it comes with these little uh, frames that are, uh, they're clear plastic, but it uses a little magnetic thing. So it's just a wire. They're not frames. They're, it's a wire and then little magnets, and you just put prints there. Yeah. So you don't actually have the frame. It's just you just take a print, and you. They're just, it's the coolest thing. It looks. Everybody's like, where'd you get that? And we go, I can't tell you. All right, what you got? <laughs> All right, uh, the next one. Okay, this is value again. Value, not price. Right, value. I understand. Okay, so. Um, I like, uh, I'm a speed lighter. You talked about how you did your yeah, whole kit. Yeah. This, this this would push the budget in your kit just a little bit, not by much. <laughs> these um, are really good quality though. These rock. This is made by Westcott, um, who's had the 28, their medium Apollo for the longest time that uh, I love. But basically this year, they came out with a couple different things. They came out with an orb, which is like a little octobank, uh, and they also have the strip, which is one of my favorites. So if you're out there and you've got a speed light and you want a little more control, you look at strip banks, most of them are made for I studio strip strobes. Banks. Yeah, but they're expensive. So expensive and they're not, not this very one. portable. This guy pops up just like an umbrella. If we can see, okay, cool, so it's big enough there. So it's just like an umbrella, easy to package, and uh, mounts with an umbrella bracket. So it's all the stuff you've already got. You can use your speed lights there, and it's got a beautiful soft light to it. It bounces off the back and then comes out the front. Really nice, tasty, smooth light. Um, you can put a diffusion panel on it. And the cool thing is, is you can attach grids. And uh, let me look at the prices here really quick. Yes, for the first time ever, you know how grids are normally way more expensive than the soft boxes themselves? Yeah, they themselves? are, they usually are. They came out with grids for every one of the Apollos. So now you have a super mobile, studio quality setup, strip bank, with grids, with diffusion panel, and it's 130 bucks, and the grid is like less than half of that. It's $50 for the grid. Wow, So the whole good. thing for under 200 bucks. And I mean, Excellent. this is like great quality of light. No, Westcott makes great stuff, I'm a huge fan, and their Apollo stuff is, is on the money. All right, uh, let's see what I got. I have a cool thing. 
So Frank Duerhoff was here last year. You know Frank? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know Frank from Photoshop World. Frank. Yeah. Frank. Frank. So anyway, Frank was here. He's working on a book project with us. And so f we're talking, and we start talking retouching, which is it's not, there's a little bit of retouching in this book. And so, and I, and I mentioned to Frank that I thought he does, I think Frank does a very good job with his retouching. And I like the way Frank does skin. And Frank goes, do you want to you know, you know my technique for doing skin? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I use a plug-in. <laughs> you use a, pl a plug-in? And he, he did a demo for me. And I kid you not, I went and got it right that minute. Now, you can download it. It's called Portraiture. Right, that, make sure that's the right one. I'm going to launch my Photoshop and make sure. I think it is Portraiture. But let me make sure before we... Let me just... I have, isn't that sad? I have to launch Photoshop. He's going to whip out some quick edits and stuff here. It's from Imagenomic, yes. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's from Imagenomic. So from Imagenomic, I went there, and, and it, it is, I downloaded the free trial. Of course, now I actually bought it. So it's, here's the thing. Oh, it's my mic. Hi. Thank you. Here's the thing. I'm stunned at how well it does because most plugins for retouching are kind of, they, they make everybody look plastic or weird or they, they go like too doll. far. They look like a Barbie doll. Yeah. This one doesn't, and Frank literally, I was like, are you crapping me? You're using it, and son of a gun. So His secret's out now. I'm using it now, too. And so, anyway, it's, I thought, it's, you think it's a little pricey, right? 199 bucks, ooh. But the time it saves you, and I opened up some ones that I had done the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, versus, no. you know. Now you're just beating yourself up. <clears throat> so Charles Putnam asks, how does it compare to On Ones and Nick Color Effects Pro? Uh, I think it's better than Nick Color Effects. Uh, they have a, uh, a, a portrait, a, a skin softening in Nick's Color Effects Pro. I think it's certainly better than that. It has all kinds of different settings. It's got all kinds of different, like you can control the normal skin, you know, high setting and all these different kinds of stuff. But then, and Frank showed me, I, I can't show it today, but, but Frank showed me a technique he does when someone has just horrible skin. Mm -hmm. It starts in portraiture and then he adds a couple of things. Uh, hey, Doug Evans says, Lindsay Adler uses it too, great plugin. Right. So I don't know how I was the last to the party on this plugin. Everyone's Seriously. secretly using it, right? Your co-author's using it. Are you using it? I, I'm gonna be now, apparently. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy because it's one of the things that takes the longest time, skin, right? Eyes are easy, and you get to skin, it's like, oh, here we go. But, uh, dude, I'm sitting there running drink. this. I'm sitting in the hotel because we, we, we did a lot of our work in a hotel lobby. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, I cannot freaking believe I wanted to slap him. But I'm happy at the same time because, you know, Frank is brilliant, and I love the way his retouching looks, and now I know, you know the why secret. I love it so much. All right, how much is it? $199. Uh, go, try the, go, get the, go get the trial. Okay. Try the, you, I'll be hooked. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like first it. hits free. You no, love it. No. First first hits free. <laughs> hey, that's that's a drug reference. Uh, you were worried about saying shit, and <laughs> because it's on the cover of your book, and now you're giving drug references, <laughs> and we wouldn't say that word on our show. So don't worry. Yeah. About it. All right. Happen. Moving on. Next one. Yeah. Ready? Okay. I was always. Are you going to pull a light meter? I am. I am. Okay. We, 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 <sighs> I have love for them now because Frank convinced me why I should love light okay. meters. Okay. I thought these were taboo in the house of Kelby for the longest no, time. No, no, no. So. I'm telling you what. Frank, if you, if you spend a day with Frank and, and it changes your life. Dude, I learned more about photography in three days with Frank. My head was exploding. I swear, he's an unbelievable guy. But he makes a case for using light meters that is so good that I was finally like, and I have a, I got a really nice Gaussian light meter that triggers my own yeah. uh, uh, Skyports because I use Ellen Chrome All Kit and Skyports. It's got a built-in Skyport trigger, and it's really, really nice, and now I have to use it. Nice. Well, um, for the longest time, I didn't use a light meter because I'm a speed light guy. Right. Um, and lately, the Pocket Wizard, if you guys aren't familiar, they now have the controller. Right. They've got the, the TT1 and the Flex TT5, and that lets you get TTL wirelessly off camera with your flashes. Didn't, you do, didn't do a lot of good because your Sekonic light meters couldn't trigger your speed lights, so there was no point for me. Uh, this is the new one. This is the Sekonic Lightmaster Pro. It's the L478DR. It's the Lightmaster Pro. Tonight, the Lightmaster Pro. I feel like such a better photographer for when I use this, I'm like, I'm just gonna whip out the Lightmaster, done. So, uh, but what's great about this is one thing it's cool, it's got a touch screen. So if you can use an iPhone, you can use this. We're allowed to say iPhone on the air, we're not gonna get hate mail. Just don't say shitty iPhone. Shitty, okay, okay. I have an iPhone, don't attack. Um, but the cool thing is you can go in there and- I have, have an iPhone, <laughs> don't attack. All right, wait a minute. Oh God. No. That's, that's quote, <laughs> quote of the week. I gotta go put that on Twitter right now. Hold on. Good, I'm going to figure out how to use this thing while you you're doing that. You go ahead, and I'm going to say, <laughs> quote of the week. Uh, what was it? I have an iPhone. Don't, Don't attack. attack. Okay, quote of the week. 
from. Keep going. Okay, cool. Um, so I haven't used the light meters because they did me no good with my speed lights and my really cool TTL triggers from Pocket Wizard. Uh, Sekonic just came out with this. It allows me to go into the touch screen. I can now trigger my old, pus my old Pocket Wizard plus twos, my plus threes. I can do uh, the photo or the pro photo ones that have them built in. But more importantly, I can control the TTL ones now when they're on the, uh, when they're on the flex and mini units. And even better than that, I can even go in and now control the power of each one of these. So I'm a speed light shooter. Now I feel like I've got fancy studio strobes with advanced triggering technology, and it's all built into a speed or into a, a light meter. So that kind of converted me. I'm a geek, so this That's like excited nice. me. In it the first actually place, does look pretty cool. Yeah, here you can touch it. Thank you. This feels expensive. So I mean, you don't even have to trigger your camera. You can run around, set up your lights, adjust their power, Ooh, make sure everything's an metered. app. Ooh, it's Angry Birds. Launch a missile. <laughs> And um, so now, it's, got, it's got all the benefits of a normal one. So. I, I, was your quote, I have an iPhone, don't attack, or I use an iPhone, don't attack? I have an iPhone, I have an iPhone don't, don't attack. attack. All right. <laughs> quote so, of the week. This all is right. pretty rad. So for all you guys starting out who are scared of light meters, watch Frank's class. He'll give you one spin. Or if you're a speed light shooter like me, um, this just opens up the door for our light meters, that's for sure. So uh, it's, again, it's not cheap. I don't give cheap gifts. This is $470 at B&H. <laughs> He's, you know oh. what? You want to be Eric's friend because he gives you, <laughs> you give really good gifts. Hang out with Eric. He's, he's a good gift giver. All right. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to pause for a second. We still have lots, lots of those, but, um, uh, Brad says, these aren't the things Eric gives. They're the things he wants. Oh, <laughs> is this on your B&H gift list? You know how oh, you can, the wish you have a wish list at B&H. These are definitely go, in yeah. there. <laughs> okay. So, um, before we get to my next one, I just want to mention, so over today, on my blog at scottkelby.com. It's guest blog day, so I'm not pimping me, I'm actually pimping David Bergman. So David Bergman uh, was, he, he, I think he got famous, I mean, he's, he's an excellent photographer, and these are the two things that I know David Bergman from. Uh, he was the guy that did the, the big, giant gigapan at Obama's first inauguration. It was incredible. Well, especially yeah. since the second one hasn't happened yet, but, but he did that. But then he was Bon Jovi's tour photographer. And, and he had access to Bon Jovi at a level. John Bon Jovi did a testimonial about David Bergman on why he's the best concert photographer to have. It was great. John Bon Jovi go. going, this guy's the man. I mean, he went on and on, it was, but it was very well done. So he's got a guest blog, and people are absolutely loving it. He's a terrific photographer, a very nice guy. When I went to see Bon Jovi, my son and I went to see Bon Jovi because that's our favorite band. Uh, he came out and met us, and, and he's a really, really Rad. nice guy cool. and a tremendous photographer. He's got a lot of cool things. Go see his site. His site, I want to make sure I get the right name for it. It's, it's the tour photographer. It is the, it's tour photographer. Photographer, just tourphotographer.com, and a terrific guy, terrific photographer. Take a couple of minutes and go read his uh, guest post on my blog today, scottkelby.com. It's the very first post. Uh, and of course, unless you're watching this days later, then it's the second post or the third post. It's but in there. It's, it's <laughs> in there, but terrific guy, great, great post. All right, so um, I'm going to mention my next, I don't have a price for it because it depends on how big you get it. Okay. But you know, we, we, we're very concerned about getting our Socks. televisions in HD, right? Yeah. We want HD quality, but our, our prints are still kind of regular prints. Yeah. What if you want HD quality prints, all right? And that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, there's a company called Image Wizards, and they make these prints actually on metal. And it's gonna be hard for you to see, of course, that it's HD quality, but in person, it looks like freaking HD, right? It looks, I mean, it looks absolutely like. I'm seeing fingerprints and stuff. Isn't it crazy? That is nuts. I mean, it's, so it's actually printed on metal and they, they have some special process that is just, I don't, I can't explain how they do it or, or, but it's unbelievable. And now you wouldn't do this for every photo you have. You wouldn't take a baby photo and put it on here. You know, it's for things that you want to look like landscapes or travel photos or anything in HDR or something that you want to look like it's there. It is another, that next level of printing. And uh, it's it, It's not cheap. It's a little more expensive than, of course, regular prints because you're printing on metal. metal. But it, their stuff is just amazing. And so that's one of my prints that I have here at the office. Um, so Image Wizards, go to imagewizards.com. Check out their stuff. It's based, of course, on how big you want it. Yeah. And if you want to print this big, it's a lot cheaper than one this big. And, and we've got them huge here, too. So though, um, you know who, where I saw their stuff? The Tampa Bay Lightning. 
uh, did a bunch of their stuff, just a whole bunch of their stuff. And uh, so when you go to the arena, yeah. they're, they're a hockey, hockey team. Are you into hockey? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, they have, I mean, incredibly huge, huge prints, and they're, they're just when you see them in person, you're just, they, they're overwhelming. They really are. So, especially for hockey stuff, right? So. Hockey's cool. Uh, oh, so Brad says they're usually at Photoshop World. They are. They have, they, and people can see their prints. So, if you go to Photoshop World, which is like next April, so that, that'll be fun. Christmas will be over by what, five months, Brad? Four months? <laughs> from now? Five months, about from now? It's if great. you're holding off on your decision for next Christmas. Yeah. There you go. All right. What do you got? Um, I've got something fun. All right. You ready? This is, what are we on? We're on, okay, the co-pilot. Yeah, the co-pilot. You guys know Q-Flashes? I have a Q-Flash. You have a Q-Flash? Okay. Is that my Q-Flash? It might be. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it fits in my hey, bag, it won't be any longer. Hey, um, is that my Q-Flash? So the Q-Flash rocks because it's got more juice than a speed It's light. got a lot of juice, It's too. got power. Um, and they've got an exposed tube. So if you're using like a soft box, you want to fill up like a really large umbrella, that's really convenient. Um, but they have I haven't really used it as much as I should over the years because it's manual. It's like a, like a very old speed light. You have to yeah. set the power yourself. So if it's up on a light stand, I've got to climb up the light stand to do it. Yeah, um, but see, I like that. I like manual. I shoot in manual most of the time. You know why? Why? Because I have Brad. <laughs> I, just, I just yell over to Brad, Brad, bring it up a half a stop. Okay, a little more. I know that's 13 it. feet up there and like way over on a boom arm, but, but I, we, okay. just a third of a stop. No, that's okay. Brad, <laughs> Brad climbs like a gazelle. <laughs> you can't believe the way he climbs. So the Pete but the got gift that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pete got the gazelle reference. Because gazelles don't climb. They run and they leap, but they don't really climb. They just don't Thank you. Climb. There's nothing to Someone climb. No it. opposable thumbs. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the holiday gift isn't the Q Flash, because I just said I didn't always use it because I don't have a Brad. I would, I would love you, Brad. I'd love a Brad. I love but. Brad. Everybody should have a Brad. <laughs> Everyone should have a Brad. Uh, but the co-pilot basically steers for you. So you slap this on the top of your camera. It's now just like those pocket wizards that I was saying with uh, let you yeah. do all your control. You can do TTL, which is great. It gets you out of a bind. If your brain freezes up on set and you're just like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, put it on TTL and fire away. Just pray. Just pray. And you're good. Um, I don't know how Joe does it, but I'm a manual shooter well, you know as well. This is what kills me about Joe. So Joe will say, TTL will save your life and it'll also kill you. But he never tells you when. <laughs> it's just at some point it will save you and at some point you will die. Oh, because you don't know when. <laughs> you it's, don't know it's when. It's in the worst possible the, moment all of a sudden TTL that's when it does. down. Yeah. Uh, but what this does is I shoot manual as well. And I don't have a Brad, so this is my Brad. I put it on the top of the camera. I can switch it to manual mode. I don't know if you guys want to zoom in on that. All right, um, and it has the controls on top and one third stop increments, so I can do TTL, I can do multiple zones, I can do manual, and I'm not climbing up and down and I'm not paying for a Brad, so. Now, I, I'm not being smart when I ask this, but uh, so how is this different from the, the, the Pocket Wizard one? The Pocket Wizard will not work with the Q-Flash. Oh, that's right, so it's you a don't Q get the flash benefits of So the this is really power. only for people with Q-Flashes. It is, yep. So that's 50 people, 60 people, no, I'm just kidding. A lot of people, hey, 51. David Zeiser has got a million 1.5 million wedding photographers using Q-Flash. That's why I bought a Q-Flash. Chances are, if you're a wedding shooter over 25, you're using Q-Flash. Yeah, you're using Q-Flash because so, it does have that, that power. You can use it outdoors and stuff. You don't have to do four brackets and four flashes and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to Dave Blackett with the, the Dave eight. Blackett yeah. with the, with <laughs> I don't have that many speed lights. I don't know about you guys. I have one Q-Flash and, and no. this. So. Hey, let's take a short break. We have a lot more on our, our list. So we, we're, still, we're still rolling on and we've got some cool stuff coming up. So don't go away. But I thought, you know what it's time for? It's time for a commercial. It's time to pay the the bills. So let's take a short break. Go to our sponsor. When we come back, Eric Vallon will still be here showing you stuff that's too expensive. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back live on The Grid. At Adorama, our trained staff share your love of photography and can help you find what you're looking for. Our inventory is stocked with all types of cameras and accessories you need. Adorama has it all. Adorama, more than just a camera store. Visit us at 42 West 18th or at Adorama.com.
Hey, we are back. Scott Kelby here with Eric Fallon, lifestyle photographer and love machine and expensive gift giver. Uh, Eric expecting is here. Expecting expensive gifts in return. Expecting, yes, he does. That's the thing about him. He expects, uh, <laughs> so my next gift, it, it is very expensive, but it, it's good all year long. And that is get Brad Moore. Now, here's some things about Brad. He'll do anything. I mean, he will, he's great on location shoots. He's great on doing research. He arranges live models. He does whatever you want to do, he will do it. He's very, very clever. He's a photographer, so he can cover things when you need to. He can be your second shooter on anything. Uh, however, there he was briefly. However, he's expensive as crap because <laughs> number one, he wants to get paid every two weeks. You miss a week, he loses his mind. He wants to get fed. He's very much like a puppy in that aspect. So, um, uh, and Brad's range from 50,000 on up. <laughs> so, so you better make sure you really, really like Brad's because they, their expenses, it's not just the Brad. It's like anything else. It's all the expense. Doctor it's, visits. It's the ink and the batteries. Doctor and visits, you can't believe. And, and things, you know, it, just expenses that you get at the pharmacy are just very expensive. So uh, Brad's like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, no, my next thing is, uh, oh, I have, I have the deal of deals. How do you all say right? that? You're going to pronounce that, right? I'm going to pronounce it, okay. yeah, because I had to learn it for the video. <laughs> so I, I, I did that video I talked about earlier, right? The one where you rent the video for $6.99. Yep. And I used a flash that we had here in-house. And I want to show it to you before we talk about it. It looks so, like a normal working flash. It looks like a, it really looks like a cannon flash, right? Like yeah. a, kind of like a cannon flash. Now, now take a look at the build and, and quality and see what you think. Oh, I haven't broken it yet. Okay, so there we go. But I mean, it feels pretty substantial. It doesn't feel cheap or cheesy. No, it doesn't at all. I okay, have, one, so I have one of those and I love it. You the want, buttons yeah. are like the test. Pete, Pete like has the buttons one. are squishy and they're not. It's right. responsive. No, no, yeah. they're responsive. So Pete has one. Somebody else bought one on my recommendation after watching that class and they said they absolutely love it. This is uh, the flash I used in my class. Okay. I was wondering it's, how you did that. It's was like, $70. That's why. It's it's $76. $76. $76. And we're just not buying at the right place, Pete. You go straight to China, 70 bucks. Anyway, but uh, it's, it's, uh, this is the Yang Nuo. That's the name. <laughs> okay, thank it's you. It's the YN, which stands for Yang Nuo, 560 2. That's as close as they could get to the canon name as they could get. If you, if you squint, it looks like the 580. Yeah, you would just think, oh, it's, it's the, because it's got the sensor in the front, right? Like the Canons do. I mean, it really looks like someone at the Canon plant in China said, Infected. hey. <laughs> build this <laughs> anyway but it, it works amazingly well it's amazingly so now what's so what's the difference between this one and a more expensive one is features and it's build quality and things like that so i mean obviously if you have the money i would I would love to get a nikon or a canon flash but if you're just getting into this or you know someone that's getting into it they'll never know this thing is 70 bucks this is another one where they go oh, i can't believe you bought YN 582, great. Who makes this? I don't know. Oh, it's Yang Nuo. Who knows? Just tell them it's, um, it's Italian. <laughs> RC says it's like the speed light version of a disposable razor. RC says it's this. Are you supposed to throw it away as <laughs> often? Well, let me put, well here's what it is. So here's the thing. Uh, the, the new Canon flashes, $610. Oh, God. Yeah. All right? The Nikon's 580 Yeah, it's almost 560 bucks. bucks. They're a lot. Yeah. So you could throw away about nine of these. So if you bought one, it didn't work, just throw it away, pull out another one, pull out another one. You keep throwing them away for a year or two, and then, you know, okay. and then you'd reach $600. So if, if, if maybe the quality of the build isn't, isn't so great, at some point you'd go, I don't know. There's but a break-even point, but it's down the road. It is. There's a break-even <laughs> point, but you'd have to go through about eight of these before. Anyway, I did the whole class on it. It did amazingly well. Um, and I've had people that have bought them and, and literally written me on Twitter or on Facebook on G Plus to say, I have this flash and I absolutely love it. So there, there's a place for black market goods. <laughs> gray, <laughs> Who said that? No, I'm kidding. Gray market. Gray market. Right? That's gray, what BH calls them. Yeah, yeah, what do they call that? Okay. So, um, you know, we have a, a teleprompter. That you don't oh, have there we go. Okay. Well, I'm going to steal one of your gifts because I'm out of gifts. <gasps> I, 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 I blew oh, my steal. budget early. Oh, steal gifts. Feel, feel okay. free. Okay. So um, I'll go. Ready? Yeah. All right. So we've got these guys. We've got the Rogue Grids. Uh, I'm like a broken record up here. I like speed lights. He I like does. small flashes he does. a lot. They're easy. He does. They're easy to move around. Um, but this right here is, again, Expensive taken. as crap. 
So unless you do the Young Wow, Young Nuo, Young Nuo, Young Nuo. There we go. Yeah. We have the Young Nuo. Um, but basically, out of the box, they don't have all the modifiers that a studio strobe does. Right. So it's cool to have things like the Apollo Strip. Another thing here is the grids. The grids are pretty rad. Uh, Expo Imaging makes these, and these guys are cool. Like they think out their products. They do. You know what they do? So here's how it works. Just so you'll know. So you take right, your Young Nuo flash. Don't open it. Okay. Because we could like give it away or something. We, we open sell it. it. Yeah, well, then we then we have to put it on eBay. <laughs> so what it does is it you, it 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 you put a little piece of Velcro here, mm -hmm. and it puts a snoot over the end of your flash. Oh, no Velcro. You don't even. You oh, don't that's right. Gun, no. no gunky Velcro. No, no, no. You don't. That's right. You don't put the Velcro on here. You just actually attach it over this. You want your flash it, to look like you don't no, use it. No, no, no. It. it 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 tightens on here. Yeah. It puts a snoot, and then you just stick in the end of it the grid. Correct. Right. And well, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> correct. All right. Well, I, I, you know what it is. I use so many different modifiers. You forget what the, this one. And he's got a Brad. So this one, I have a Brad, and go Brad, put the grid on. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. There's the little thing. But it fits on here. There's. It does come with a little snoot. And it sends the, your beam of light in a in a beam. So if you're looking for really dramatic lighting, you just want to light somebody's eyes or well, depending how far away you put it in different things, you can create really dramatic lighting effects with a grid. So the light doesn't spill everywhere, though there's times where you want that. But when that time where you want, I want a tunnel of light, something, especially like for, for rim lighting in the back, you yeah. want to light, so, so it, grids are great. So very, very good, 50 bucks. I kind of stole your thing, but I just, that was the demo part of your of yeah. your thing that you stole from me. No, it was, if it's under $500, it's your gift. I know, it's weird because I'm thinking, <laughs> why are you talking about a $50 gift? Because that, you're, you're out of your element. That is so not you. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, being inexpensive. How about, so uh, I used the Young Neo Flash on my, in my class. I also used a pop-up softbox. So it is, uh, it's from Impact. Where is it? Oh, right here. All right, so this is it. Now it pops up into a regular softbox. I think it's, it's a 24 inches, Brad? Yes, Brad gives a big thumbs up. It's a 24 inch by 24 inch square softbox. And it is used for speed lights. So your speed light fits, you, you take duct tape and you tape this on. Gaff tape. Then, gaff tape, you gaff it. it. You gaff expensive. it on there. No, so th I'm not gonna open it up because it, it's like what you did over there was a catastrophe. So <laughs> I try, I'm totally kidding, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally <laughs> kidding. But it pops up into a square soft box and what you would do is you would mount this flash on the end of a monopod mm -hmm. or you could put it on, on, on a stand. If you have a monopod, you need a Brad. Yeah, if you have a Brad, use the monopod. Or if you have a friend, use the monopod. Or if you have a friend named Brad, use the monopod. Otherwise, just put it on a light stand. And it is a little tiny softbox. It does a wonderful job. It says, McNally uses one like this. Now, McNally, they, McNally has a version of this, right, from last to light. I think it's got his name on it. It is, it's the Joe McNally signature one. And, and Joe's has got, you know, it's got the higher build quality. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know what's nice about Joe's? Joe wanted to go, and why it's a signature model. Is his is, I think, a little bit larger. I think it's two inches larger, same size. Same. Sure. I think Brad's wrong. It might be. I don't know. We got Google for that, though, yeah. so we'll find out. We'll, we'll we find out. We don't pay him enough to be 100% accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but Brad's pretty pretty certain. But uh, oh, he's so prove us there's the now. impact, all right? And this one is 150 bucks for everything, right? It's the whole kit. The bracket that holds the flash. The stand, everything, everything. What? the stand, okay. the light stand, the bracket that holds your flash, and the softbox with the diffusers, and it has an inner diffuser and an outer diffuser for 150 bucks. Now the last light one, the Joe McNally one, is, is 50 bucks more. Oh, and Brad's bringing it up in my face because it's the same size. <laughs> la, 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 la. So hey, by the way, Brad's also available now. So if you can't <laughs> if you can't find a Brad online, you can take the one that was here. He's used goods now. He worked here. Price went down. But you know what? He's all warmed up. He's ready to go. So uh, anyway, the Joe's has white lining in the inside. Yes. So it's if if you want like. Uh, the the, uh, the impacts have silver, so they're a little punchier. If you want, and Joe wanted a creamier. It was the exact words was creamy. Cre Joe said, "I want a creamier light." And it was Italian. Want to be very creamy. So uh, it, it is, and it's very nice. I have one of Joe's soft boxes, and it is beautiful. It, it's, but but if you can't quite swing that, or you don't like your person that much, 150 bucks, clues bracket and everything. Just gaff tape over the name, and no one will know the difference. All right, you stole that already. I did. Steal that. Which, what is that? Where is that? We, I don't, right here. There it is, right there. I can reach it. Uh, the camera battery? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is massive. Okay. Yeah, so oh, I can run with this one. Run with it. All right, ready? Okay. This guy right here. You need one to run your camera. Yeah, you do. Every single one. 
If you shoot in the cold, these run out faster. Okay, yeah. It's, it, it's but a it's, bumper. it's not just buying a camera battery. It's buying an Multiple extra, camera yeah, batteries. Backup battery. And you know what? It's amazing how many times you run into people that do not have a backup. What do, I, what do, I, you, what do you do? You go out there, you're like, oh, sorry, I can't shoot anymore. I'm out of film? I hear it all the time. I'm out of battery? Is that really an excuse? How it's, do you make that excuse? It's not an excuse for a pro, but it's an excuse yeah. for if you, you know... Because they're not cheap. They're not cheap. This is not no. an Eric Valen quality gift. This is it's twelve hundred dollars. No, <laughs> it's, it's the size of a stocking no. stuffer. No, but first thing I do when I buy a new camera, I bought the new D eight hundred or the D thirty two hundred to right. shoot around with. I immediately order an extra battery. Absolutely, yeah. every camera should have at least. You know two why? Because you're wealthy, but not everybody is. <laughs> so that's why all your I'm gifts are like a thousand dollars and stuff, right? Yeah, pretty it's much. Like, hey, look what Eric's got, huh? Again, remember this is my wish list. I'm just throwing. I'm just planting seeds here. Planting seeds. Plant the seeds. But they go anywhere from about forty eight bucks on up. Mm -hmm. But honestly, that'll be one of those things. you know what I like about gifts I like a gift where you wouldn't really buy it yourself yeah and you're like I know I need an extra battery but now oh, it's seventy dollars or whatever you get somebody one of the and they're so surprised they're like ah oh, that is so cool and the greatest thing is they won't recognize how good the gift is until four months down the road when they're out of they're out of battery yeah. and they're like oh my I I love Scott I there. love Scott because you can keep shooting because Scott gave you a battery there you go so, so there it is. It's it's so, so the giving. Nikon one there is, is like fifty nine bucks, but you can get a better deal at Arama, B and H, any place you like to get stuff. That's Jeff could help you stuff. Out. Stuff. Now, yeah, and, Jeff Slender, buddy. Get. I'm sorry. And people oftentimes will go, well, should I get these off brand batteries? Because you oh, can go no, 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 no. get these no, off brand no. batteries. The problem is that a lot of people don't realize is that there's information that is only being read by Canon or Nikon batteries. So. Those batteries really do work the best for your specific camera. They kind of got you, but it's worth it because you don't want to be guessing how much battery life you have in there and you got to do certain things to get around those off camera batteries to use them. Same it's just thing. not r worth the risk when you're going out there and you're putting your, your work on the line. Oh, same thing with the grips too. Yeah, if you buy some off brand, you don't get the benefit of seeing how much battery you have left. So not only are you going to be out of power, you don't know when it's going to happen. That's terrifying. It's terrifying. terrifying. It's the only way to describe it. <laughs> Eric, how can they get around this terrifying thing? Um, be friends with us. Be friends with us, and because we'll give you one. Okay, so uh, I've got one. Now, I, I can't tell you exactly where to go right now for this deal. But I, I, it, it, this is, so this is semi-information and semi-deal. Uh, Adobe lowered the price of Lightroom 4. Oh, it's dirty. It has always been $299. Yeah. They lowered it to $149. I've seen prices, uh, deals from everybody uh, on this for s like 79 bucks. There it is. Look the at website. that. There it yeah. is. Actually, that's the upgrade price for 79. You want the full thing. I think they're Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So, hey, that's close to that. you, oh, go back to that that page. That's Nevada Weir. I, I just met her. I met her in New York. She's she's terrific. I, I wanted to take her class. I saw a video from her when I was teaching out at Santa Fe workshops, and I so want to take her class. She's really a brilliant photographer. Anyway, but that's not what we're talking about. Lightroom 4, you can find deals all over the web right now. I've seen it as low as 79. I know I saw uh, I saw Jeff Snyder at Adorama tweeting it for, I, I want to say, now it's not today, this is like Cyber Monday mm -hmm. for 79. Yep. If you get it at B&H, they actually give you Matt Klaskowski's Lightroom Crash Course, which is like 59 or 60 bucks. So the teacher for free. How to use it. So yeah. you get Lightroom and Matt's, and Matt's Crash Course is absolutely excellent. So it's the full DVD, uh, but but look around for it. There's what is it now? Right now, 119 is it? Okay. So 119. So that's off of 149. And, and there's all kinds of deals out there. But I think that that is one where if you buy the box, it's impressive because mm -hmm. you, know, you can still buy Lightroom in a box. Believe it or not. Do you guys still keep your software boxes on your shelves? Like, do we, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> you know what Brad's answer was? Like, yeah, Brad goes, <laughs> really? That really? used to be cool. That was like, you know, Jeff you have a nice Snyder book collection. You have a nice software collection. 114 at Adorama. Jeff Snyder's on. He says 114 at Adorama. 114 oh, at Adorama. So, yeah, Their Jeff, price Jeff Snyder says 114 at Adorama. So, so check that out. And if you um, guys are NAT members, he's the man, right? Yeah, you go right to Jeff. Mm -hmm. If you're a NAT member, Jeff, Jeff will help you out directly. Okay, so, um, oh, hey, hey, I'm just, I should mention this as well. So a ton of people are, are getting on Adobe's Creative Cloud. I am. I'm so, on. Yeah, I'm on the cloud. It's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, financially, it's like a ridiculously great deal. Um, it's the value of the century. Lightroom comes free with the Creative Cloud. If you're a Creative Cloud member, yeah. it's don't even go buy it. You already have it. Just go to the Creative Cloud and download it. You know, they, they did that two weeks after I bought Lightroom separately. Did they? Upgrade. See how they are? <laughs> I know. But anyway, Lightroom 4 is part it's of there the Creative now, Cloud. Though. Did you know yeah. that, Pete? Did you yes, know it was part of the Creative Cloud? Mm -hmm. Yep. Pete's like, yeah, I know, I know. I know you don't believe me, but just yes, leave it, I did. Just know leave that. the camera on him, leave <laughs> See, it on him. I crash my sweating. computer all the time. I have to keep going back He's and sweating. downloading it over and over again. It, it's great because I know where uh, the software is, and I just keep going and reloading it back on. And 
right back to work. Why would you do that? You're digging a deeper hole. You're right. I should take longer and stretch yeah. it out so I don't <laughs> hey, have to work for hey, a week you know or what, so. though? Can I tell you, I just while we're talking about the Creative Cloud, just one second, and I don't want to get off. But people think that the, because it has the word cloud in it, that you're running like Photoshop in a web browser or anything. You're running a Chrome, right? <laughs> you run it in Chrome. No, no. It's just like always. You, you just go to a website and download it instead of buying a box of Photoshop. That's the difference. You, I mean, now there's some cloud features you get, you know, that are, that are unrelated to the software. But it's the same Photoshop you've always had. It runs. It's on your desktop. It's on your computer, just like always. You don't run it in a browser. I always talk to people like, I want, how's it run in a browser? It doesn't run in a browser. It's regular. Just forget it. It's just like it's it's... It, it would, Adobe should have named it Adobe App Store or something. Pretty and then much, people would yeah. go, oh, great, it's an app store. I download software. Yes, yes, but they and chose no cloud for reasons no one can understand. All right. Hey, so um, let me make sure there's nothing else we're forgetting. Oh, I got one. So Perfect Photo Suite. Perfect Photo Suite from On One came out a few weeks ago. But today, now I don't know all the details because this just happened. There but is. they have three different versions now. This that was today. This is brand new stuff. You can start it at seventy nine bucks. You can get the the. the whole suite. Oh, it went away. There we go. Then you can get the big giant suite. There's different versions. Go to ononesoftware.com. So their stuff right now is the best it's ever been. I mean, it is hands down. They've completely redone their user interface. The quality of the stuff. I mean, they have taken. I think in the history of On One, they've taken the biggest leap with this. This the, from six to seven is the biggest leap they've ever had. Oh, I have one right here. There we go. There it is. Perfect photo suite. So go check their stuff out. Uh, you can get. Why was there like that gratuitous close-up of did, me? Did you see that? It yeah. Was horrible. It wasn't even the disc. You should it was always. Just you. I look better from a far, far distance. <laughs> that jib should be like as far away, or you can't really see who I am. It's like five inches. They should put face. like a little bit of like Vaseline on the lens, so I look like Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, from smooth. Yeah. Yeah. That's all old right. So, film so thing. go check out. Go to ononesoftware.com. They've got free trials you can download. You'll love it. Okay. Now we would be remiss if we didn't plug our own stuff because we're in business, and since this podcast is free. And, and Brad is wildly expensive. We're going to give away some of this stuff. And so, uh, but we're going to mention some of our things because, you know, I, 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 put, I put somebody, um, you know, I, I put my gear guide online. And in my gear guide, I said, oh, and by the way, here's some stuff for us. Mm -hmm. You know, here's RC's book and Matt's book. And so I included that. And somebody said, well, you know, Mr. Kelby, you diluted the whole quality of this by including your own products. I'm like, you think I, I told you they stuff? were, no, I told you they were my products, but I, if you did a gear guide, right, wouldn't you mention your book? Absolutely. Well, of course you would. It's like, it's, I did all this, you know. So we're going to include some of my stuff here too. And it doesn't mean we're bad people. Well, Eric is, but it doesn't. I give good gifts though. He does give good gifts. <laughs> and he had the quote of the week, you know, so that's good. All right. This is something we're going to give away. It is the four book set, four book set. It's heavy. It is heavy. How heavy feel that? Feel it. 4.7 pounds. That feels expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's it's all four four of my digital photography books, volumes, or they're in parts. Parts one, two, three, and four. Now each one of these individually, just the book, I think it's 24.95. I don't know because they don't actually sell these. They're sold through. Yeah, 24.95. All right. So it would be a hundred dollars to go to a bookstore and buy these. Mm -hmm. But if you buy this set all together, the whole thing, it's. $59.99 from us directly, right? You can buy it from us. You can also buy this on Amazon.com, mm -hmm. BarnesandNoble.com, 7-Eleven.com. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if they're there yet. No, Walmart. Uh, Home Depot carries them. No, just go to, go to those ones. Afterwards. And so, uh, oh, so Brad says, no, that can't really? Is that true? Oh, that's fancy. All right, so I don't know. Brad says that to get the sleeve that they fit in, just like one piece sleeve, right? That oh, that comes from us, and you don't get it if you. I don't believe that's true, Brad. Brad says it only get you only get this if you buy it direct from us. I think Amazon does have the the box set. I think it's a different sleeve. Oh, it's a different sleeve. Yeah, like, this, oh, this sleeve's is made out of sleeve. gold. Oh, this is our custom sleeve. Gold oh, leaf in there. Custom. Oh, they have a. Oh, that's a horrible sleeve. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty lame. No, I don't know, but we're, we're really. We're really not sure about the sleeve thing. But the important thing is, if you have someone on your gift list and they want four books that will curve their spine. Those are them? These are them. And look, oh. look at the sleeve though, right? Come on. It's got pretty pictures on it. 
It does, okay. So that's that. We'll be giving one of these sets away today. Pete, this is gonna be one of our giveaways today. Uh, we also have the HDR book. We're not giving it away because these books are incredibly expensive because they're real. Paper. Trees died Paper. for that. All right, this is RC's book, the HDR book. You know what's cool about this book and why you'd want to give it? I'll explain really briefly why you'll want to give it. Is because this is about, it's this much about the photography of HDR, because HDR photography is very easy to do. Mm -hmm. This is about the post-processing. Not yes. just not just like what you do in Photomatics or in HDRFX Pro. This is what you do in Photoshop. He really has got the post-processing stuff, the stuff that a lot of people don't talk about. He's got it all in here. People love this book. People, this has made RC a household name. Well, besides the fact that RC is a very special guy, this is, is really has been amazing for him. He's the HDR guy now. My book, light it, shoot it, retouch it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on and get a copy. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it, what's it sell for? Brad's going to say, oh, you know what's cool about it? Okay, I'll tell you what's cool about it. So what I did was this. I, I wanted to show the whole thing. So I start with an empty studio and we build the lighting. And then I list every piece of gear and all everything that was used and all that kind of stuff. In fact, I could, I could even show you just a little example. So there's like no question. You're not like, well, what right. are you using there? What yeah, lens? no, no. So, but here's what's cool about it, ready? Is we actually mounted a camera in the roof of our studio so you could see the, which camera should I go to? Juan? The red one. Where's the red dot? There's no red dot. <gasps> there it is. So you can actually see, there's the overhead shot. All of the gear, the power settings, the whole nine yards, the camera settings, every single thing, right? And it starts here, I'm gonna show you. Well, it, I get to give you a nice promo. So first, it, I start off here with, um, you see the final shot we're going after, and then you see the shots as they came out of my camera. So you see, and a circle, there's a circle around one of them that says this is the one we're gonna work on, okay? Then we go through, and I show you every view from the front, the back, you know, so you see, you can see exactly where everything goes, like where the lights are positioned, the whole nine yards, so it's very obvious what's going on because you've already seen the overhead shot. Then I take you through the entire retouching process from beginning to end, through camera raw, all the way through Photoshop, every single step along the way. Look, I even go in, besides all the retouching stuff, but I, I, I show how to fix the flower because she is holding a flower and some of the petals were funky. I mean, we take all the way to the final thing where you would give Jeez. it to the client, that's ridiculous. And we do this for like 12 different lighting setups. So everything from uh, shooting athletes to beauty headshots to portraits to all these different elaborate and very, very simple, uh, usually using one or two lights, maybe three once in a while. But so that's the lighted shooter retouch a book. My portrait retouching book. I've written a What's book on there? portrait retouching. <laughs> it's just loads of portrait. But it, it's like a chapter on eyes, a chapter on skin, which has been made somewhat less important. <laughs> yeah, a <I> was <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> <a> chapter. <laughs> but this book is less than the plug-in. Um, so all, all these kind of things. I mean, just a, just a ton of different stuff. Uh, every single thing that you'd want to do on face, body, or whatever, it's all in here. And lastly, Matt's Photoshop Compositing Secrets book. So Matt went and kind of did... And I, I, he, he, I'm not trying to make it sound like he ripped me off or anything, but he did the same thing where, <laughs> well, he, it's not. If you see the book, you realize it's not. But he shows how to do the shoot, how to do every bit of composite. I do one composite in my book. Mm -hmm. His whole book is compositing, and it's great. It's 40 bucks from beginning to end. Of course, you can get these at kelbytraining.com or Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Any of these books are all available. So uh, it's a terrific, terrific book. It's gotten absolutely rave reviews. In fact, I saw somebody today put a thing on Google Plus where they were saying, you know, and they, they gave a shout out to Matt because it was his book that pushed them over the top and they had samples. Uh, awesome. RC is watching from Seattle. What's I up, imagine. man? RC, what's up? So um, RC wanted, to, his contribution was mentioning artistic photo canvas. Uh, so artistic photo canvas is where that's where I get my canvases done. Yeah, you did done the, a canvas. We, we did the tweet up thing with them a year or two oh, ago. Oh yeah, right there, remember? Oh yeah, at everyone the took side. one home. Yeah, yeah. So uh, their stuff is amazing. They they do such a great job. They're fantastic people. They have insane customer service. You know what I love about them best? Hmm. They freaking prep your files. Like you just send them the file that you don't have to go into Photoshop and bend all the corners. Oh, doing, the bleeds do, and all the things do you don't know how to do. They do all that stuff normal. for you. And you upload it to them and the quality is, is just absolutely brilliant. That is rad. So yeah. I, I love them. I can't say enough about them. They've been in my in gear guide in years past. So RC is bringing that one to the table. They are wonderful. Uh, APC, Artistic Photo Canvas. I think, are they artisticphotocanvas.com? I think is their site. I think so. I think we just saw it. They're Googleable.
Yep. Uh, okay. Our last thing is uh, a Kelby training subscription. Do it. So this is, do it because Eric's on there. So this is our, our uh, it, it is a. I'm popular right now. It says it on the you screen. You are. It's popular. That's you. That's, That's your, your class right there. Popular right now. So, but you know. After the show, of course, no one's going to watch. It. They're, they're going to go. He's an elitist like, we don't that, like that, that guy. Um, uses an iPhone. It, so your your career is pretty much over. I taught that whole class on three hundred and twenty five dollars a year. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, he's like uh, seven thousand dollars worth a year. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, look, yours is available for rental. Is it look. okay? That's cool. Definitely Dude, check look it at out. That. Then. All right, and you get you get uh, eleven cents for every time someone watches it. That's how I can um, afford all these gifts. That, that is how I can <laughs> afford all these gifts because because uh, twenty five thousand people watch his classes. So uh, it's one hundred ninety nine dollars for a year, and we have literally hundreds of classes from everyone, Eric. Myself, all the Photoshop guys, Pete Collins, all these guys, um, Joe McNally, Moose Peterson. If you can think of somebody, Lindsay Adler, you can think of think of anybody that is really cool that you would want to learn from in the photography field, including people like Jamie Zell. He's pretty cool. They're there. So he's watch them whip through the instructors here. Here we go. Look at all these people go. Look, there's Burt Monroy. Dave Black right there, David Zeiser, Dave Cross. Look at that. Douglas Saunders, Eddie Tapp, Ed Greenberg. Ed Greenberg, go back to Ed. So Ed's, Ed's coming in here next week. Ed uh, is a, a copyright expert for photographers. We need more he, stuff for him. He is, Ed is so good. He's done like three or four different classes. He's got classes on model releases, mm -hmm. classes on copyright. And photographers have so many problems with that stuff. Like there's so many questions and all. Ed is the absolute no BS guy. About Ed tells you his stories are just... He's the most entertaining attorney ever <laughs> because he's got great stories. He's very, very smart. And he's from New York. There is zero BS Straight in him. Straight shooting, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't talk over your head. He just like, he's like, kid, look, you got no case. I mean, he's great. <laughs> he's, he's wonderful. Ed is, I, he is the man. So, hey, can we go back to that real quick? Can we go just jump on the screen again? Because there's more people there. Uh, there's Jay Mazel, Jeremy Cowart, right? Jerry Gionis, I always pronounce his name wrong. Is it Gionis? I have no idea. Gionis. 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 There okay, you go. I always okay. pronounce this like Jim DiVitale. Schmelzer's great. You know Schmelzer. Schmelzer rocks. Schmelzer yeah, rocks. Joel Grimes right there. And then McNally guy, John Paul Campanello. I mean, we've got all these incredible people there. Not Matt. Matt's. Ugh, but. <laughs> There's Moose. There's RC. Moose. RC. Yay. Peter Hurley. He's a new guy. Peter Hurley. He's is the great. new guy. He's awesome. So, and we've got a bunch of great, we do, we've got some great, oh, Tim Wallace. Tim Wallace is an automobile photographer that is based in the UK. Have you ever met Tim? I haven't met him, but Dude, his class was. he is insane. He shoots for like Aston Martin and Jaguar. He does like, you know, you get their brochures and he's, his stuff is incredible. His classes are incredible. So, uh, it's 25 bucks a month or if, if, that's if you're loose with money. You save, it's cheaper if you do the whole year for 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. You get 24 hour access, 365 days a year. There's an iPad app. That is the coolest thing. There's an thing. iPad you app. Curl you can up on the couch, iPad. watch it on you your can iPad. Curl it up and, and hold an expensive lens with you. <laughs> so you'll, you'll be on, you'll have an iPad. <laughs> do you use an iPad? Yeah. Don't hate him. Let me quote. <laughs> oh, okay. I use an iPhone and an iPad. I mean, Don't I'm using me. the new latest Android tablet thing. All right, now we want to close with one thing. I want to get five really good picks from you guys watching at home. So we've covered on my blog, of course, I covered a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, here we covered some stuff. We're going to go to Pete. Pete's going to tell us how to enter the contest because look how astute he is. <laughs> He's working hard over there. Boy. So, um, <laughs> so Pete's going to tell us how to enter the contest. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it's going to pop up on screen, but you should go to Kelby, kelbytv.com slash contest. You will go down to the drop-down menu. You will choose the grid live on the drop-down menu. You'll enter your name, your email address. You can leave a comment, and we're going to pick winners from there. Now, remember, we've got two things we're giving away today. We're giving away the Kelby Training subscription. We're giving away your four-book set, and that's two, isn't it? That's two. Look, like how I built that up, and then Wow, nothing. yeah, boom. Well, no, Eric's book. And then away, we're giving uh, away Eric's Eric book as well. Eric's Sorry, book. I forgot you can about give away my, my shitty copy. book. You can, can, we give show, it away. can we show his book again right here? How to take shooty photography. <laughs> How to take know, bleep which... photos. Yeah, there So we, we have a monitor that shows which camera we're on, but we can, it, it like <laughs> blinks the whole time and never really, really comes in there, right? It, we're like the cat that just keeps darting around the room with the head. There you go. <laughs> we're good. We're good? Thanks. Awesome. We're good. Brad's like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, um... So, Brad, did you write that? Okay. Is anybody giving us any... Uh, they're not saying here's what to buy? Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Brad wasn't even looking. Brad, Brad gets cheaper every minute. You'll be able to get Brad at a bargain price. <laughs> cheaper than a New York Times subscription. Cheaper than a New York Times subscription. Brad Moore. Hey, can I throw in one? I just yeah, got reminded. Scott one. Valentine yes. reminded me. One of my favorite products of the year. I helped pimp these like crazy at Photoshop World is the Spider Holster. If you haven't checked them out, go to spiderholster.com. They're great to wear around your hip, get the weight of the cameras off your shoulders. I just love them, and uh, go check them out. They're one of my favorite products of the year. You look like a gunslinger with them. It's yeah, rad. you did yeah. a demo for me of that thing. <laughs> yep. Pete's serious about it. Okay, uh, Alan Hess says, uh, Photoshop World as a as a gift. I love you, Alan Hess. Yes, Deep Photoshop, pockets. go to the Photoshop World Conference and Expo. You get not only do you get the conference, right? You get to go to the conference, oh, which is in Orlando mm -hmm. or Vegas, but it, it, you get a year of NAP membership, which includes Photoshop User Magazine and a whole bunch of stuff we're announcing next week, which is woo, crazy. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? So uh, that's coming. There, there it is. Photoshop Ooh, World. I like that. Yeah, it's a nice photo. graphic, right? Is that one of yours? No. Okay, because I thought, you know, they might have called That's an it. iPhone photo? Pretty That's, early clip. No, come on. <laughs> All right, so that was one. Uh, Rifter says, uh, Trigger Trap Mobile. Eric this knows what this is. What is, is this? It's pretty rad. Okay, so it's an app. It's for free on your phone. I think it's what, free to the end of the year. Phone? Um, is it available for Android? Is, is it available for Android? I know it's available for iPhone. There's, there's, there's less features on the Android. Oh, there's less features on the Android? So Trigger Trap um, is free on your phone. If you, you buy the cable for your specific camera, and right. you, uh, just you plug it onto the front like you would like a wireless re release for it, and it does all kinds of things. Um, it audio triggers. So if you're like popping a balloon and you're trying to get your camera to trigger right when the balloon explodes, it does this audio. app will do that for you. Or if someone walks in a room. Yeah, motion sensor. So if you're doing a prank and they walk in a room, motion sensor will fire. Boom, it. will fire the camera. I mean, if you cool. think about it, it can be done with this app. It is incredible. Brad and I were playing around with this yesterday. How much is the app? The app is free, free to the end of the year. And the dongle's like Seriously? 25 bucks or something like that. Okay, so you gotta buy a dongle. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the app's free. Yeah, but your phone's not, you have to but buy the phone. It's useless without the dongle. No, you can use your phone. It'll, it'll, oh, to use your phones? Your camera in your phone, yeah. Wow. How do you know so much about this, Brad? Because RC told me about it. Because oh, RC told you about <laughs> it? All right. I'll well, say, Bruce F., Wacom tablet. Bruce, I could not agree more. It's actually on my gear guide. Hey, I'll show you. I actually, here's my, my, my laptop bag. And I travel with a Wacom Intuos 5 small. Oh, yeah. So it slides right in there. And uh, I use this, and you know what I love about this? If I'm flying mm -hmm. and the seat next to me is empty, oh, yes, I'm out. retouching on a seat in the sky. 30,000 feet up. Right. And you're probably on Wi Fi. Yeah. And so this is also wireless. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to run a cable over from, from there to here. It's really, really wonderful. Completely wireless, and it's very, very lightweight, and it slides right into your laptop bag. And so every, I can retouch anywhere I go, Eric. I don't care where I am. I'm just retouching. Even if I don't have photos to retouch, I still do it because it looks... People, it's therapeutic. People see you pull it out, and they go... He's important. He's important. <laughs> he's not, he's giving expensive gifts. All right, so thank you for that, Bruce F. Also, uh, Bruce F mentions the uh, uh, Giotto, Gi it's Giotto's. Giotto's, sorry. The Giotto's it's rocket time. blower. So what that is, I have one myself. I you have fly the Giotto's. With this one. You can't fly with this one. You can't one, fly though. with it because it looks like a bomb. It looks exactly like a little bomb. Like anybody would make a bomb that looks like what Bugs Bunny would use, but they won't let you fly with it. It's very discreet. So stick it in your camera bag, and, and but it's it, it looks like a bomb, but it, it just blows off dust and dirt and things off your lenses and stuff, and it's very, very handy to have. You can uh, blow out air inside your camera, and you can blow it in people's faces. Kids love it. You, you're like you're on your flight, and the kid turns around, and he's messing with you. They, they, don't, they don't look back. <laughs> Kevin Halliburton, hi, Kevin, says, uh, how about a good backup system? Uh, I'm using CrashPlan as an off-site, you know. Can I tell you this about, about CrashPlan? Hmm. It takes a long time to get your images to CrashPlan. <laughs> so if you have a big library of images, how long did it take us, Brad? Six weeks? Oh, man. At least six weeks to upload our images. Do they have the hard drive option? They do have the hard drive option, okay. but not if you have a whole bunch. Okay. It's limited to one terabyte. The hard drive option is? The you hard drive. That would be the unlimited one. Yeah, the hard drive is limited to one terabyte. So if oh, you have wow. one terabyte or less... <clears throat> anyway, Who does so that? Uh, but it, it takes a while, but all your stuff is backed up in the cloud. Look Whatever here. that means. In the cloud, right where okay. your Photoshop is. We got to get out of this. Right Dave Clayton. Photoshop. Dave Clayton, our buddy from the UK. Hi, Dave. One of the greatest guys out What's there. What's up? One of the a, a very talented guy and a very very cool guy. Uh, or the Orbis Ring Flash. So this is uh, I 
we don't know anything about the Orbis ring flash, and Dave actually told us nothing. So while Dave is a great guy, he's a man of few words. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Jacoby, what's up, Brandon? We know everybody that's writing in today. Smug Mug Pro account. That was on my gift guide on my blog today. Okay. Smug Mug Pro account. Uh, you know how I got uh, hooked up with Smug Mug? Hmm. I was on some website. I can't even tell you where it was. And they had a 14-day free trial. And I took it. And three days later, I was a pro member. It's so, like, you know what it was? I wanted to be, I had to go to RC to maintain my website. And RC is very kind. He'll do it. But you feel bad asking, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, what's, you know what's a great example? Brad Moore. Brad's website, Brad uses Smug Mug. They will custom make one, you know, and Brad's has got a great, go to uh, B Moore Visuals, B is the letter, B is in Brad, Moore as in Moore, <laughs> visuals with, with an e. dot com, and uh, check out Brad's site. Maybe they'll bring it up here for us. It's, he's got a great looking site, and it's on Smug Mug Pro. Um, F Ships, uh, is Pocket Wizard Plus 3, very, very nice. The new ones are uh, smaller or less expensive. And, and they do the zones, gooder. which is cool. And they do zones. Yep. And last one, Matt Thompson, the Topaz Lag, Lag, Topaz Labs plugins. Topaz Adjust, if nothing else. That's one of my very favorite. Topaz Adjust and Topaz Detail. I haven't used either of those. What are, are you serious? Yeah. They're, they're tonal, uh, you know, tone, like a tonal effects, like you use Nick. Like a Nick, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like Nick, but it's pretty much mostly just tonal effects. Okay. So they're very, very good, great stuff, and very inexpensive. There's Brad's site. Nice. Dude, great picture. That's a new one. Brad is, is, is an excellent concert photographer. That's another benefit if you get Brad, and if you can't go to a concert, or you, there's someone coming to town, Brad can go and shoot it for you, and you'll have incredible pictures that you'll put on your Facebook page, and people will go, dude, how did you get access like this? And you can just lie and say, you know. With your Ollie That's how I roll. I'm friends with the band. I used an Olo clip. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eric said. Oh, RC says Synology. Uh, that was, the, you know, I, I went with the G-Tech, mm -hmm. but I was between G-Tech and Synology for, oh, with for my, like, on-site backup. Gotcha. I went with the G-Tech stuff, and it's very, very good. I'm very, very happy with it. But it was, it was between those two, was Synology and G Tech, and I'm, I'm, I've heard nothing but great stuff about their stuff. So RC, you get that one as well. Well, guys, we are way over time, but you know what? When you have Eric Valland in house, the love flows like a mountain <laughs> spring. Got to abuse it. Pete, come on, dude. Sorry, I was busy taking notes. <laughs> dude, I set you up. So Pete knows every song reference. If you pull one little line out of a song, Pete will sing immediately the next song. So I said, let your love flow like a mountain spring. Cut to Pete. Let your love flow like, like a bird mountain. on a wing. wing. Here you go. Let the See, love and he's got a little groove going on. <laughs> he's got soul. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm hey. trying to spell smug mug, sorry. It's just S-M-U-G, M-U-G, P-L-D. Thank you, Mr. Gazelle. All right. <laughs> Guys, we've had a great time. Thanks to all of our uh, sponsors, all of our friends. Thanks to our friends at MPix. MPix is on my scottkelby.com, because you want to send somebody something really personal, send them one of your prints. Mm -hmm. Mpix will print it, frame it, mount it, and send it. It's nice. awesome. Uh, so thank you guys, thanks very much. Don't forget, where can they learn more about you? I mean, it's super simple. ericvallon.com, um, grab me on Twitter, and I'm really active on Instagram too. He's active on Instagram. Yeah, mm -hmm. I take a picture once a day, and no words. It's, it's no easy, words. It's easy to be active on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and you're on Google Plus? Yeah, I absolutely am. You're everywhere. Cause All you're, over. Because you're a social man. Spreading the love. Do we mention he has a book? Yes. It's brand new. It's shitty. It's not. I can't it's say not. that. It's not. It's awesome. You cannot it's say that. Shooting in shitty light. It's great. That's a great, that's a great title for a book. It's an eye catcher. Yeah. But, but you're a bad person for using cuss words. <laughs> sorry, All right. Sorry. <laughs> Eric, thank you, buddy. Hey, thank you very much for having me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. For the, next week's our, our uh, blind critiques. Next week. Oh, Bye. submit your pictures. Submit your pictures uh, next Tuesday. Peace. Peace out. Awesome. That this was week's show. episode of The Grid is sponsored by Mpix. Shoot today, upload tonight, we ship tomorrow. Manfrotto, imagine more. On One Software, software that gets you back to shooting. Adorama, more than a camera store. Tiffin, helping create the world's greatest images. Peach Pit Press, Publishers of technology books, ebooks, and videos for creative people. Epson, exceed your vision. Expo Imaging, rogue flashbenders for speedlight enthusiasts. Nick Software, photography first. And BH Photo, the professional source.